Good morning, guys. Good morning. What have we got here today, then? What you got on show today, then? Well, this is a three-inch auction, three-inch scale. Three-inch scale now, but so it's three inches to the foot. Three inches to the foot. Yeah. And did you make it yourself? I didn't build this one, no. But I had a pet. Well, that one over there is mine as well. It used to be mine. Yep. And um, we built that one, and then bought this one. So we used to rally them both together. Oh right. So having a nice day out the weekend's been yeah, good. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, really good. Weather's all yeah. right, is it for you? Yeah. Fantastic. So what's the name of the, the tractor we got? Uh, the tractor. It's a Royal Chester. It's a Royal Chester. And she's going to steam round later, is she? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And you've got, got a car, obviously. We've got a fire in the middle in it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. We've got riding trolleys on it. Yeah. You know. Oh, fantastic. What was your name, mate? Ian. Ian. And your wife's name in the background, or your, I shouldn't say wife now, why is your partner in there? Wife, yeah. Lorraine. Lorraine. Doreen? Lorraine. Lorraine, sorry, Doreen. What am I talking about? <laughs> there you go, darling. How do you like these events? Oh, I enjoy it, yes. You do? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Supporting the old, old man I do, and his yes. many hobbies, yeah. I suppose. That's it, yeah. So, yeah. 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 We all got, boys got our hobbies, haven't we? Well, that's it, and I enjoy reading my books when I come here, so all's good. And it ain't raining. No. That's it. Thanks, yeah, guys, that's I appreciate it. Sorry, your name again is? Ian. Ian, thanks Ian. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Just in time. What have we got in front of us today? What are you showing yep. today? This is my two inch orchard. I two inch now? There was the three inch was no, next sorry, door. Three inch. Three inch. I get muddled up. I had a two inch um have you? fowler. You for get a mixed long up time. with your your numbers, do you? I do, very easily. Okay then. But this one, I've had it just over a year. Yep. Makes my life a lot easier. My knees were getting a bit rough for the small one, so right. I went up a size. Yep. And it's uh, a nice engine, it runs very well. Did you build it yourself? No, no. I built my other one, but this one I it was a. Well, it had been his previously. He did say that. He... And it moved on to another chap, and I bought it from him because he's upgraded to a lorry now. So. Okay then. And so you enjoy these events showing and oh, riding yeah. around. I see you've got your cart as well, you're going to ride around on that later. Oh yeah, well it'll tow the whole lot. Uh, really? kid, kids jumping on the back and all sorts. So Fantastic. Your nothing. name of the little steam engine? Hmm? The name of the little steam engine? Unpronounceable. Unpronounceable. <laughs> it's it it Royal Chester there. I know it says Royal Chester on the side, but uh, it doesn't carry a, a fancy name. But, okay. Um, because he gets sworn at quite a lot. Okay then. So anyway, what's your name and where you come from? I'm Gordon Beatty and I'm down from Folkestone. Or Thanks up from Folkestone, I should say. Folkestone. Thanks for giving us your time. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. There's a nice big one. Who's is this one? Who's this one belong to? He's not here. Perhaps I'll catch him in a minute. Yeah. That's a nice little one. Excuse the pun. <laughs> well, I've never had that said to me before. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> what have we got here then? This is, like, is, it, is it finished or is it partly built? Oh, no. Does it look finished? It don't look finished. <laughs> so like, this is in the stage of being built. You're building yourself, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, um, this is a three-inch barrel. Three-inch, yeah. Yeah, three-inch barrel. And um, we're looking to have it running this time next season. Fantastic. So you're building everything yourself. Do you get the castings and machine all the castings out? Get the castings and machine them up. Yeah. And then uh, put it all together. And then have the laborious job of painting it. Painting it. <laughs> yeah, this is the fun part of building at the moment, isn't it? I don't mind the machining and the, and the assembling, but the painting, we'll have to see. Somebody else might have to do that. Okay. <laughs> and so you obviously got a little garage or a workshop you can do all this in? Oh, I've got a workshop at home, yeah. yeah Fantastic. Yeah. You've got to have it pressure tested as well, haven't you? Yeah, it will need pressure testing when she's finished, yeah. Okay. Okay, then what's your name and where'd you come from, mate? Uh, my name's Wayne and I come from the Isle of Sheppey. Thanks for your time, Wayne. No worries. There's <laughs> my old mate. He don't like talking to me on camera, no. does he? How are we this morning? I'm all right. You're all right? It's just me, is it? Else, mate. Don't worry about them, what scale have we got in it? It's got nice big steel wheels on this, isn't it? That's a four inch case. Four inch case? Yep. Did you build it yourself or did No. No, you bought it in that condition, did you? Yeah, it's in that state. In that state. <laughs> nice big mug of tea there. Yeah, you've got to have that. Mug of tea to wake up. Now, it's an unusual one. It's a bit of Americanised, isn't it? It is an American engine, yeah. 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 So, 
Would you go to all the shows? Yeah, we've done one or two. One or two? Yeah. Yeah? So what sort of horsepower would that engine? We dynoed this one the other day and it wasn't up to 14, it was only up to 90 and that came out at 1.6. Fantastic. They was definitely inches of the day and I mean that could pull a few people along as well, kind of traction on that at all. That pulled that truck. Really? Now that's a big truck. And that's two and a half ton over. Fantastic. How long have you owned it for? This one, a couple of three years now. Really? Have you always been in the hobby? No, I got into it later. Yeah? Yeah. Too busy doing everything else. Working for a living. I'm yeah. getting smoked out here anyway. You will do. So, uh, what's the, the name of where you come from? That's the beauty of Steve, isn't yeah. it? No, I'm Norman, I'm not near Lennon. Cheers mate, thanks for your time, right. I appreciate that. Cheers, let them come in around. Your engine? Yes. Who brought that with you today? Uh, okay. Your dad? Do you enjoy driving the dad's show, do you? Yes. Is this your dad here? We've met you and your dad before, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We have. Yeah. Go and have a chat with him, Brad. So, so what's your name then? Bradley. Bradley. And you come to all the shows for your dad? Uh, sometimes we don't, sometimes we do. Sorry. I see you've got all the, the black on your face from the steam and the cold. Yeah. And white on your face. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Nine. Nine? Oh, that fantastic thing to do, be able to drive at nine years old, isn't it? Yeah. Who taught you? Your mum or uh, your dad? My dad. Your dad. Is that your mum in the, sitting down there, is it? Yeah. Yeah, she's hiding. What's your mum's name? Uh, Laura. Laura. Good morning, Laura. So what engine is it? What uh, scale? This is a four-inch scale uh, Garrett. Four-inch Garrett scale. Did, you, did your dad build it or did you build it? Uh, well, we bought it like 85% done. Yep. And then we did some bits to it to make it look a bit better. Fantastic. Yeah. Did you paint it? Uh, no, my dad painted it. Dad painted it? Yeah. But I bet you helped him with the spanners and everything else and throwing yeah. the paint on the floor, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Give us a toot and a whistle then. I can see the whistle. Oh, that's fantastic. I appreciate your time. Tell us your name and where you come from. Um, I'm Bradley and I come from Hartley. In Kent? Yeah, in Kent. Thanks for your time, Bradley. Thank Have a great you. day. Thank you. Right, don't run away from me, all like right. some people have done already. Alright. Tell us about all your machines. You got a few machines here today or just yeah. the one? Well I've got that one and that one over there. That all one the and that one over yeah, there? Two iron horses, yeah. So, tell us a little bit about them there. Well, uh, 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 British made by uh, Anzani, yep. which also make aeroplane engines, motorcycle okay. engines, boat engines, outboards, things like that. Yep. And they also made a tractor for the uh, farmers that was wasn't too well off. You know, whereas the, the bigger four wheel yep. tractors like was more expensive. But they, they, they built these uh, as a general purpose tractor. Yeah. You can fit all sorts of different attachments on it. Is it more horticultural rather than agricultural? It is. It's horticultural and light agricultural. Right. You know, okay. So you, you can do a, you know, a bit of both with it, like you know. Single farrow power on it, I see. But single farrow power on this one. We've got rubber tyres off it. So sometimes uh, a lot of them came with the metal wheels. Yep. Uh, which just as good, but a little bit lumpy on the roads. Yes, I understand. So these are alright for that. They will pull a trailer of about a ton. Really? Right on the road, yeah. Well, they've got three forward gears, a reverse gear. We're only a single cylinder engine, a little, little uh, petrol job. It's a petrol engine, yeah. What's it, a jap or something like yeah, that? It's a jap engine, yeah. Now, tell us about japs. Now, you know, it, it, the name sort of sense is Japanese, but it's not, is it? It's an no, English made. I'm not sure, but I, I was told it was John Arthur Peterson. Oh, but uh, whether I'm whether I'm right or not, you don't quote me because I might be wrong. Right. But yeah, they did all sorts of different engines, two-cylinder engines uh, for the bigger ones, like you know, uh, and these uh, single-cylinder about five volts. Oh, right. So what, what sort of era would this be? Well, this this one's about 1940. 
Oh, so during the war time? During the war time, right, yeah. yeah. So it was, uh, it was more or less it took over from the autumn plough. Ah, okay. You know, so yes. So it was developed mainly for that sort of thing. Wasn't that's it? it. That's it. Yeah. So mainly for you know, like 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 uh, saying that it was people that want so many horses about because of the war and things yep. like that. Uh, these were sold on easy terms for the farmers, uh, and uh, they did a good job. They certainly right, did. You know, now they tell me that a horse can do an acre a day pairing. Yeah. Can this do more? Faster? Probably, probably can, yeah. yeah it's probably faster. Can. It's a bit faster, like. You haven't uh, got to feed them. Ain't got to feed them. That's the thing with it, like, you haven't got to house them really. Just put them in a garage and that. Just maintain them, like, you know. Yep. Fuel, oil, and grease on it, like, look after them, like, and they'll look after you, like, yeah. And you ain't got to get up at four o'clock in the morning, so. That's right, yeah. Just go in, put the handle in it, just turn the petrol on, and we'll fire it up. Hopefully. Would you? That'd be yeah. fantastic. We'll, we'll fire it up, yeah. Let it go first. Might do the first time, why not be? Right, I'll give it a bit of right, so one stroke make the I'll start. Yeah. It does it is the magneto out, stops the spark, and she stops. Fantastic. And then turn your petal off. <laughs> so tell me your name and where you come from. Yeah, my name's Dave Applegate and I come from the Isle of Sheppey in Kent. Fantastic. And your wife's name? Melanie. Melanie? Yeah. Oh, I see she's a David Bowie fan or something. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah my era. Yeah. You see? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. So I'm an old bugger as well. Not yeah. like you're not an old, sorry. I'll take that back, you're not old. Yeah. Anyway, and you enjoyed coming to events like yeah, this? Yeah, it's been good, yeah. Yeah, well, you nice. enjoy yeah. it? Yeah, it's been great, yeah. Fantastic. Weekend. Supporting your old man? That's yeah, right. that's it. With his it? many hobbies. That's right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I appreciate your time. That's all right. I'll no see no you problem. again. No problem. Thank Cheerio. you very much. Cheerio. Good morning, don't run away from me. <laughs> morning. Your, what machines have you got on show today? Oh, these guys, Ethan and Lucy have got a little Mustang each, which oh. is over there. Do you want to show the man? That'd be fantastic. And your name is? <laughs> I'm Claire. Thank you, Claire. And your name is? Ethan. Ethan. But you're camping up there? Yeah, we're camping up there, but we've got them down here. Okay. Yeah. Do you, make them, do you build them yourself, Ethan? No. no. Does Dad help you or will your partner help you? Yeah, we, well, we, his daddy, um, he comes from quite a large family who have bigger tractors like Ferguson's and stuff. Yeah. 
but obviously it's storage. So the guys wanted to kind of have something to bring to the fairs, so we went for the smaller version and yeah, here they are. They're great. Then. So this is Lucy and this is Ethan. Hey, yeah, Lucy. Hey, you doing? You <laughs> sit. Do you mind me filming? No. no. It's you, well, do you want to sit on your one, Lucy? Otherwise, Ethan might get a bit upset. <laughs> number eight. What's that about number eight, then, Ethan? Unfortunately, Daddy's gone to the toilet who knows more about it than me. Really? And but me I think, too. yeah, but I think that's just the number that they have. They do, they do have a little mirror at the bottom, but we've taken them off. Yes. Yeah, and mummy, yeah. mine didn't come. With Yours didn't, no but Lucy's here. did, didn't it? So Daddy's do you, looking for it. Do you ride this? Do you drive this? Yeah. You do. How old are you, Ethan? Uh, eight. Hey, and you drive these little tractors, yes, so hey? Ain't that fantastic for you at your age? You'd be driving a car shortly, wouldn't you? <laughs> Has your mum got any land or anything they can drive around on? No, not. We've got a fairly big garden, but not big enough, you know. For... No, I can't yeah. stand that. So you drive as well, Lucy? No. You do? Fantastic. What a great experience. You got, Thank you to your mum and dad for all this, is it? You got to buy the... Buy your mum some flowers later. <laughs> what about some chocolates? Well, you're going to eat all the chocolates, though, aren't you? I want her lipstick from the Tombola yesterday. You did win me a lipstick from the Tombola yesterday. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what, that's what we're about. OK, then, well, thanks for giving us your time. And perhaps I'll pop back later and we can talk about them a bit more. When Daddy knows, yeah. Thanks for your time. <laughs> no and your name is? I'm Claire. And you're from? We're from Canterbury. Thanks for yeah. your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> morning guys! Good morning! Hi. Oh, we got high! <laughs> Press that high can come and tell me what she got to show. Don't cover yourself with a blanket now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, you're too late for that! And what's your name then? That's Jess under the blanket. Jess under the blanket, is that your real name? Jess under the blanket, is it? Alright, oh, remember Jess under the blanket, alright? So that, that's Jess under the blanket. No other names, just Jess under the blanket. <coughs> and she said hi! She's embarrassed there. Eh? Right, I'm going to talk to you. Okay. What have you got on show for us today then? Uh, from that one there all the way round in the gazebo is mine. Oh, shall we start the gazebo then? Yeah. So these are old fashioned lawnmowers, I presume? Yeah, they are. Uh, they're made by a company in, well, they were made by a company in Basingstoke. Do you want to stand in front of them? We can they can do. put a face to the picture sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, they were they were made in Basingstoke yep. by a company called J.E. Shea, yep. um, which later sold out to Webb, the lawnmower people. Oh, the Webb, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so these were the, the first rotary mowers. So they're gotcha. the, the first one, the, the sort of like the two in the tent there, they're the oldest ones there from sort of like just before the First World War. Just before the First World War? Yeah, so that, that's when it was first started. Yeah. Uh, and then basically uh, J.E. Shea bought the rights to that patent. Yeah. And then they introduced the rotor size range. And then, and then they, and then they branched out into rotavators as well. So they made three different uh, styles of rotavator. So you've got an 80, <coughs> a Shea 80, yeah. which is the smaller one. And then you've got the Shea 125, which is a, uh, no, sorry, Shea 120, which yep. is the grey one. And then the Shea 125 is one that I haven't brought with me this weekend. Okay, so what sort of engines have we got on these? <coughs> they're Those, British made? Yeah, they're all British made. Uh, the the Shea's, the, the, these ones, have got what they call a BUX 120, which, right. is, a, which is an engine designed specifically for, for, that for that machine. Do they run? No. Oh. They're very difficult to get running, but okay. some are, I have got some that run, but so it's a, a long-term thing. I've got every mower that the company made, oh, really? so I've got every model that they made. So and you've got early a very understanding wife then? Sometimes. <laughs> we speak to her later, <laughs> Yeah, but no, so I've got quite, this is just a, a small selection of them. A small, so you've got big garage as well, have we? I've got a barn full a of barn. them. barn? Yeah. We've all got barns full yeah. of attractors and money yes, and that's it, we? yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, that's an unusual one at the back. Sure, tell us about that green, <coughs> right, that, that's, green grey, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, that's the Shea Countryman. Yep. And that's the self-driven rough cut mower. Self-driven. Oh, so that'd be perfect for rain, like the barn areas yeah, and any, that sort any of Any bit thing. of rough ground it'll yeah, go yeah. over. But yeah, so, but like I say, because they, they've developed the rotary cut, yep. 
that's uh, was specifically what they did these for. Was they didn't like paint it then. They should have painted it. Perhaps. Well, no, they did. It was painted yep. uh, by the the guys who did these very first ones. Painted did it, yep. and then Web when Web got it. They, they continue to do it. Oh, okay. But these actually cut a lot better than webs. Really? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. That's, yeah. that's fantastic. Then moving on then, what have we got next door to us then? Right, this is a, a grip track, which was made uh, down in Cornwall. It's got a modern engine on it. Did you put that on it? Yes, the old, the old one. Yeah, the old one just didn't want to work, so it, no. it got replaced. Okay. Um, much more reliable, the Honda. <laughs> I'm afraid it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's a, a front wheel drive, it's got two forward gears, yep. no, no reverse. Yep. So if you want to turn it backwards, you have to actually turn the handlebars oh, over. A bit like the Lister engines. Yeah, the and bar. you actually spin, spin the whole front right round to go backwards. Oh, that sounds a bit dangerous. It's, it's all right. It's <laughs> all right, as he says. Yeah, but yeah, so it was, they were specifically made for the water board, so they would have been based in like sewage farms oh, and okay. waterworks, and they were used for taking light like, samples. My background, I'm an engineer, work for Thames Water, so it's my background. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. So I work in sewage works all my life, and I've not seen this. I'm not, perhaps I'm not old enough to see it. Uh, these were about in the 60s, so. Yeah, that's a bit before my time. Yeah, and so, but yeah, but they, they made about four or five different models. Yeah. And I've got two, so. Oh, fantastic. So. Thank you for preserving them. Who's the little ones on there? Can I, can I film the yeah, little ones? Yeah, go for it. That one at the top, that's Tom. He's Tom? The, he's normally the driver. You're the driver, Tom. You drive them. <laughs> and you are. Oliver. 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 What it, and it fantastic. I keep saying to all these children, great to drive these things, isn't it? You ain't got your driving license yet. You're gonna get it next year. Yeah, of course yeah. I will. You get it next year, shall <laughs> we? But you drive it, do you, Tom? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, that steam's getting to me. We're about steam engine. Right then, does Tom don't want to talk to me? Are you gonna say anything, Tom? No. <laughs> we're, we're, we're move on to what other machines you got in front of you. Oh, they're, they're, these are not mine, so I can't really do a lot These are about. not yours. Okay. No. What's your name and where do you I'm, come from? I'm Phil, and Hold I come on, from Phil. Right. I'm, I'm Phil Murrell. I come from Crowborough. Thanks, Phil. Thanks no for your worries. time. No worries. Who's, who belongs to all this guy? It's not Jess under the blanket. Oh, she's no. gone running there. She? <laughs> Jess under the no, blanket. She's hiding there. These all belong to another guy who's with us, but he's not here at the moment. So. Oh, okay. So these are sort of tools that you can use around the farm. And yeah. These are what they call a jobber. Those a jobber. Ones. Yeah. And so they've got multiple tools they can put on the ends. Yeah. And yeah. Funny little machines. But. Funny little machines. <laughs> now I like these ransom crawlers. Now who's, who's this belong to? Uh, he's done he's a runner here, as well. He's not here either. Um, basically, all this from that one up all belong to another guy. So. Oh, perhaps I'll come back and see yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll be back. I appreciate your time. Which right. is your lady wife then? That, is that one there. there? <laughs> What's your name? Carol. Carol, and do you part with all this? These yeah. hobbies, many hobbies. <laughs> you don't. Are you mother to the Jess under the blanket? Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> there you are. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks right, for no worries. Have a good day. Yes. Thank you, Jess under the blanket. <laughs> move on to the more up-to-date versions do yeah, we? Yeah if you go to these, these were used for lime washing, disinfecting. Um, oh, would they be a back carrier or just walk Yeah along? you would put it on the ground and pump it up. Oh you've got a back carrying arm. And then you the put back it on now. your back. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah so this was the military version. Yeah. Um, they changed some things on there, they take away the the bits that stick out, the the, oh, the pressure right, so gauges awesome out there. And... Yeah, because obviously they was using it a lot. Yeah, well, don't forget the the, the, the old culture sort of farmer wanted a, a machine that worked. They don't didn't care how much they looked or anything. Did yeah, they? that's Whereas right. Whereas the military, this needed to be more purpose suited. Yeah, yeah, and um, and, that, and, it, and this is the crate it comes into. Yeah, the kit. Um, you got the original kit box and everything. Yeah. Um, there's a little list in there. Oh my god. Fantastic. Thank you for preserving the history. I appreciate that. And up on top, they, these again, these are knapsack sprayers. We Now they're just plastic. But uh, yes. They're, they're exactly the same thing as what we've got. They're just, these are just, these are, these are copper and some of them are zinc. Yeah. Depending on the use. Use for the apple industry, really. When they sort of like took the apple. These. Early, not so much these for apples, but these would have been for anything else around 
the garden or small growers, oh, market okay. garden, that sort of stuff. The big house, that sort of thing, maybe. Yeah, bigger yeah definitely bigger households, yeah. Yeah, the gardener would do that, wouldn't Yeah, it? that's right. And these, what are these things on the floor? These are for, you used to be able, when you used to be able to use creosote. Oh, you used to be able to, yeah. You just, you, you pump it. Like here, and then you'd have your big hose and you could... A two-man job or a single man's job? I think it was depending on what you was doing. Right. Because um, they're not pressurised, are they? Are they no. So probably a two-man job. There's a, these ones here have got a little bit of pressure. Oh, okay. So you give it a couple of pumps and it will spray for a bit and then you give it more, a couple of pumps. Yeah. Whereas this one you would have to constantly pump. Yeah. Um, uh, lime washing. So all about you know keeping you know we used to soak everything in creosote yeah. or lime to kill the bugs and yeah, all the bugs back in the day like that. Isn't it? yeah you've got quite a variety of them ones haven't you bucket i mean i love this they bucket. made so many different ones but it's so well made when look at the brass it's good bra i mean it's all plastic nowadays isn't it yeah they're, they're really well made and they're, they're gonna last forever aren't they you yeah know, you know whereas the yeah, ones, the plastic ones believe me in the sun they break they leak these are small uh these are like your, your greenhouse versions again. So you would just unscrew that, that when I was a and child. then just That's it. for roses and cucumbers roses, and stuff yes. like that. I love this bell shaped one. That's a lovely little one, isn't it? Yeah, that I don't know a lot about this one. It's the only one I've got. I'm on the lookout for a nice, a better looking one. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's all from the same company. It's all it? from the Four Oaks. Um, spray machine company yeah um, they did start off as the um, four oaks nursery company yeah um, and then eventually they went to just four oaks and then they were taken over by drawn wall okay. which I believe um, I can't remember the more modern name but they, there's a modern name out there now that bought it all you're looking at me as though I know hose, <laughs> hose lock Hose lock. Hose lock is the, oh, is the they owned it all yeah. eventually and um, yeah. But oh, there was so a, there was a the lot of other manufacturers really. for this same stuff. Oh, okay, um, and you got some more on the floor there. Yeah, these are these are oh this one's a this one was is actually a, a trench pump. Oh, so you sort of were first world war time. Then. Yeah. You pump out a trench. You yeah. Um, they actually this was another adapted design. This normally sits suspended in a in a bucket in the middle, yeah, and it's for fighting fire. Oh, okay. Um, but they wanted one for trenches, so they've taken it out of the the yep. bucket and they've put a foot plate on there. And the uh, poor bloke had a wet foot. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got more backpacks. More backpacks, all just slightly um, different uses. And this one is a. This is another. They're all for lime washing, but they're. They change them around to what application you was using. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're moving on to trolley ones now, aren't we? Right. Yes. Yeah. This one. This one is just. This. this one is just. This is a homemade adaption. Oh, okay. Um, basically, the mechanics. Yeah. The suction parts can in the tank these. itself. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's, it's rubbed from that to make the yeah, lower so thing. Yeah, so I'm assuming that they broke the container and yeah. and they wanted something bigger. Or they wanted more volume. Didn't yeah, they? yeah, so they just made that. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, this one's a, a wooden one. A bit like a butter maker machine, isn't it's, it? It's almost like a button churn. It's got um, paddles inside it. Yeah. So as, as you pump it, it agitates. Oh, so you put you're in not there. getting settled down to the bottom. Yeah, it keeps it product. Mixed. Every time you pump it, you give it another swish. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, An age of that would be? Uh, this is 1930s, 1940s. Yeah, just before the war then. Yeah. World War II. And obviously these come after. These these are just different versions of that, really. Yeah. Um, you know, some people only just wanted something small. Um, this pretty much came in two sizes, the bigger ones over there. Yeah. Um, well, well preserved, and you've got a, a little one there, isn't it? Yeah, this that's another line washer. It's missing some hoses. 
hoses yeah. is quite hard to get hold of. Yeah, well, they the brought right away, hose. Yeah, they? yeah, obviously. Um, but you preserved the main piece of it. That's the main. Yeah, thing. yeah, they're, they're, yeah. They're pretty well looked after. Yeah, and this pub, this is a, a, a uh, modern this is, one, isn't it? In respect to what you've this shown me is, already. Um, this is the first one I ever collected. Really? Um, it's called the Spray Mobile. Yeah. It sounds um, a little bit modern, doesn't it? Because with the spray bar on the front. Yeah, well, this is this is 1950s. Right. So this is a bit newer. Okay. But it's self-propelled, 25 gallons, um, and this again was for country estates. Yeah. Golf courses, anywhere with an expanse of land, really. So would you? It, you say it's, oh, it's got an engine, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it drives itself along. I, I, I'm gonna excuse me, chaps. Get the sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, got a little wait. What's it? A little village engine on that or something? Yeah, there's little village on this one. Yeah. So, oh, so you haven't got to push it about, and it drives the, the the pump as well, does it? Yeah. Although the pump isn't actually fitted at the moment. Right. But yeah, it, there's a pump that fits in the back, um, and then it sprays out all the nozzles. All the brass nozzles, not the plastic See, ones, as we have. Yeah, all brass. Um, you could use it for open ground, yeah. or you, or you can. Oh, you could do hedges and that sort of thing, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, rows of raspberries, that sort of thing. Oh, or beans, yeah. Yeah, anything oh, with, with a bit yeah. of height, yeah. Oh, that's um, great. That, that is really a modern machine back in the, yeah. back in the day, it wasn't it, really? Yeah. And we got a long inside here. These are, these are smaller versions, basically, of the same thing. Yep. Obviously, small tanks, so it's not self-propelled. Oh, all right, so it's um, a push along. The yeah. poor guy's got to push it there. That's, that's a little village lightweight engine on the oh, back of there. Um, oh, great. Oh, nice to see the pump as well there. You've cleaned the paint off the pump and it's nice to yeah. see the pump, isn't it? They tend to use the same pumps on everything as well. Really? So this would be again for the, the, the estate people? The same sort of thing, just on a smaller scale. Yeah. Because uh, not everybody had big... This one came from a house down... Um, down near Exeter, this one oh, came right. originally. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of the place, but it was it was it came straight off an estate. This one. Fantastic. Um, this one I got from a local guy. But you could. This was the other thing you could do with them. You could put your hose on. I've got on them. And and that's for spraying your apple trees. Yeah. And it's a, uh, originally would it be bamboo like you got now? Yeah, it's bamboo like that, and you've got the fitting inside is. Um, copper oh. and then it comes out and goes to a nozzle at the end and you would buy a belt that had like a cup on it yeah so you would hook it onto yourself and yeah, take and, all the way your gun. trees well i appreciate your time and showing me all your equipment and, and, and preserving it all now you can still find this stuff now i'm amazed you can still find it you can you can go on ebay and it's someone puts a <laughs> A, a rare word in front of it and they think it's worth an absolute fortune and it's not no. um, none of it's really worth a lot well it's, it's only a custodian of it, it you, exactly it's, it's as a collector it's only worth what you're willing to pay um, you're not going to sell it are you? no no not at all so not what's the all. name where did you come from uh, Ian Castle I'm from over Canterbury fantastic I appreciate your time thank you very much thank you Ian cheers, cheers mate check everything works safety valves work to the inspector's uh, satisfaction You're a weak person, David. Right, <laughs> 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 
and ladies. Right round and make your way out. That's uh, much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you.